Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to a camera comparison of the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And right here, we are checking out the front-facing camera, recording at 4K 30, seeing how well it looks, looking at the sky, the background, people behind me, and uh, we'll go ahead and switch to 4K 60. Now it's 4K 60 with the sun behind me and you get an idea of what it looks like. I'm just gonna tilt to the cloud a little bit there and just pan around and we'll change locations again and we'll just walk up a little bit. But you get the idea of how it looks and how it compares and also how it sounds. Now let's check out portrait video from the front facing camera or cinematic video as Apple will call it. Okay, so here's portrait video shot at 4K 30 and you get an idea of what it's like, how it actually looks, also what the stabilization is. I'm just walking here, I'm in the park, and also the colors. Uh, looks pretty interesting, looks pretty good. Uh, I've got some families playing football behind me. Let's see if we can see them clearly, but you get the idea here. Yeah. And uh, let's kick off this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and notification icon. Now, I like a bunch of things with the videos here. Now, the iPhone takes the cake when it comes to stabilization, especially in cinematic mode, it's quite clear. I also like the colors of the iPhone over the Galaxy, even though it, none of them are true to life. Uh, and in terms of the microphone, I think the Galaxy microphone is just better because of that isolation from all that background noise. But what about the rear cameras? Now here's one that's a little different. We're gonna start with the ultra wide cameras here. And we add 0.5X for the iPhone, 0.6 for the Galaxy. I'm gonna pause right here and switch over to 1X for both. That's pretty good. And now the iPhone goes to 2X while the Galaxy goes to 3. Now there's digital zoom variants in between, of course, we know that. And then moving over to 5X on the iPhone and 10X on the Galaxy. And then we go to the furthest, which is 15X on the iPhone and 20X on the Galaxy. If you're gonna zoom out in a distance and record, I think the Galaxy is the best camera for that, uh, especially from what we've seen. But here's cinematic video and you're watching me cr punched in at 3X. And what I like here is just the soft walk here, right? Even though there's nothing around, but you can see as I zoom out, it's a really smooth motion. And that's what Apple kind of talked about with that, you know, one to 3X zoom, very fluid altogether. Now, Galaxy is a bit different. It only has one focal point. And as we go into that video, you can see it's just at one position. Uh, and you can see the bokeh, it's a bit more digital than, of course, uh, natural in, in just in its effect. But I do like the fact you have different bokehs you can choose from, something like that digital, something like this black and white color pop. Uh, so you can pick different bokeh effects uh, for whatever your needs are. But it's all about images. So how do the images fare? Starting with the selfie camera. And you can see the difference in just the color feel of the photo. The bokeh on the on the iPhone feels more natural, the Galaxy is more digital, and also you can adjust it in the background or later on in, in the photo. You can also see the skin color tone. I do like my color tone on the Galaxy here over the iPhone. The iPhone feels, while, while it looks really good, it feels like I have this one set color all around. While, of course, naturally you should have different uh, levels of skin tone in terms of color. Now, zooming into this image, so you can see here, this is just a selfie camera. You can see how my hairs are not well defined as I go into a 300X here. But again, a nice image overall, but when we move over to the iPhone next, you're gonna see more detail with my beard, uh, the necklace again, and this is just a 300X uh, uh, jump into the image just to give you an idea of what is going on here with uh, selfie uh, photos. Now, as we look at the 
next set of photos this of course from the rear camera again you can see how the galaxy tries to brighten up the situation here while the iphone is a little bit more muted but also my skin tone is just two different skin tones i am neither one of the two i'm a bit more in the middle but i do like the fact that the galaxy has different you know at least gradients of skin tone while i just look like you know one chocolate you know brown overall on the on the uh on the iphone so it's it's a nice image on the iphone but i think the color representation is not uh, true to life while the galaxy of course everything looks pretty blown out of the back now this is fun here i kind of like the galaxy image but i like also the way i look in the iphone image here and this is looking at one x bokeh and then we're going to go through a couple of them so you guys will see what the differences are here but both images look really good and of course not much bokeh effect here and here we have uh 2x here and you can see how 2x looks really nice Again, my skin tone on the on the iPhone again is one set color. There's a bit more gradient on on the Galaxy, although you can see more of the textures on my shirt already here at um, 2x. Now this is 3x on the Galaxy because the Galaxy doesn't have 5x for portrait. Really nice photo. Naturally, I would say yes, this is an awesome photo. I definitely like it, um, and it looks really really good. Uh, bokeh effect is nice in the back and you can see just zooming in here this is 300 you can see more detail on the shirt as well as also you know just the fabric design itself or the fabric stitching as well as also my you know my vest underneath but when we go to 5x on the iphone this photo just looks really good again this is 5x is equivalent to 120 millimeter the bokeh is really nice uh very deep bokeh at the back and also uh just a nice blend now see the color gradient here is different from what we saw with the other two images so this is more to true to life and again zooming in you can see this 300x crop here a lot of detail so much more detail in the fabric here and this is very possible because it's a 24 megapixel image as opposed to 12 which is what the galaxy is, is, is giving us a representation now this is something shooting you know backlit this is uh direct sunlight in front of us and you can see how uh, the galaxy does brighten me up so you can see more of me while the iphone is still kind of muted and dark I like the Galaxy image here in this situation, and I think the colors are a bit balanced more, although the Galaxy is getting a better color representation of my pants in that last photo. And this is a 3 and a 5X uh, separation, a lot of deep bokeh on that 5X. I love that bokeh on the 5X, really comes out well on the iPhone, and I think people like it. So Apple talked about different lenses, 24, 20, and 35, which is one, 1 1.2, and 1.5. So this is one here. And you can, again, you can see just the color separation differences. Now this is 28 or 1.2 for both devices, and this is 35 and 1.5. Again, you can see how they're nice photos, but the color differences in terms of my skin tone is very different from both devices. Uh, but I do like the bokeh and the background colors on the iPhone better here with both images. And I think uh, overall they're nice images, but there's more detail with the iPhone. Switching gears a little bit, looking at this photo with Tom the Chat Chap at the back here, taken by Sherilyn from Engadget. Now, I love the fact that the bokeh is really nice and it's focused on me. And we went ahead and changed the focus on the photo. Now, this is something you can do while you're taking the photo and you also can do uh, later on within the app and something you can also do on the Galaxy. But here's just a quick one to remind you again of that uh, uniform color tone that uh, the iPhone is doing. This is at 5X here. And you can see it here for all of us, both Tom and Sherilyn uh, have the same kind of uniform color tone uh, as well as myself. Uh, so it's just something to take note uh, with the iPhone. But as I mentioned, you can go ahead and just change the focal point or the bokeh for both devices uh, right in the photo gallery. Doing a daylight zoom test, this is basically with the sun on the side of the building. And you're gonna see the transition of how both the Galaxy and the iPhone handle this. And uh, I think the iPhone has done a really good job, especially uh, when it comes to moving uh, to the higher zoom lengths where uh, the Galaxy is giving me some blue tints, which I don't understand why, but it's still a sharper image. There's very lot of noise on the iPhone there, and that's 25X. This, of course, is 100. Now, when we go to something that's proper backlit, uh, you can see ultra-wide, 
it will look good. Um, nothing wrong about that here. Then we go into like a 2x and then uh, we punch in closer as well. We're still getting some really nice imagery here for both devices. And this here is a 5x. I, th I really like the detail on the Galaxy. This goes into 10, more detail as well on the Galaxy. And then this is 25 and you can see gradiness on the iPhone. And this is 100, showing you just a window. 4K 30 front facing videos, low light. The Galaxy looks better, stabilization is better on the iPhone. But when you go to 4K 60, it looks brighter on the iPhone, while the Galaxy is darker. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Now, this is also just taking a photo with a flash, which I didn't plan, but I find the results leading more to the Galaxy. Now, these are low light photos uh, using the night mode camera, and the iPhone does a better job here. Okay, let's move to rear camera 4K. Uh, 30 just walking around and you can see the stabilization that extra stabilization on the sensor in the iPhone really comes in clear both images are pretty good although there's that ghosting right there floating around on the iPhone screen that is quite interesting as we move to low light photos these are good the galaxy is very punchy with the flowers uh, while the uh, iPhones on the stated Again, on the stadium, but I like the way the Galaxy looks with that car. That car looks lovely. Both are pretty good. This is a 5x shot for both here. Now, this year, the iPhone picked the color of the sign while well, the Galaxy just did not do that. Here, there's less lens flare on the Galaxy than the iPhone. The drink actually looks sharper on the Galaxy here than on the iPhone. Oh, this dish was absolutely tasty and fantastic. Image-wise, I'm giving to the Galaxy when it comes to food. It's really making it punchier, but also just more appealing and still sharp at the same time. You can just look at those potato wedges, which one looks more appetizing. Now, this one is interesting looking at closer at just the door lock itself. You can already see the softness on the Galaxy, but when we go ahead and we punch in, we can see more detail on the iPhone, on the black surface itself and on the door knob or the lock itself. Now, this shot internally, the Galaxy is definitely brighter, but you can see more detail on the iPhone on the top and just specific uh, places around the image itself and then when we go ahead and we punch in here into uh, 2x the galaxy is brighter it's just a brighter image and well focused you can see more around than of course with the iPhone and then we go into 5x it's actually 5x digital for the galaxy it is still brighter than the standard 5x on the iPhone itself so again a quite interesting image and this last one here is a 5x digital on the Galaxy 5x of course on the iPhone and the iPhone is a darker image and the representation of the painting is kind of more in between closer to the Galaxy the Galaxy is brighter brightens up the scene more we can see more around you now moving outside in here looking at some outdoor shots of me outside this is where we find some interesting dynamics here these are low light selfies now this is 1x and the iPhone just looks better. Even though, yes, that uniform tone is still there. It's a bit darker on the top. The Galaxy tries to brighten as much as possible, but it's it's overdoing it. And then the image balance in the iPhone feels a little bit cleaner. Here, we had 2X. And you can see it's a much darker image with the Galaxy. The iPhone looks very usable and something you can actually send out. This is the 5X shot versus a 3X. And... Again, the Galaxy seems seems darker. It's, it's a decent image, but the iPhone, again, it's more presentable. Also, well frame shot, and the bokeh really stands out. That's something that that 5X lens really does well. Here's another shot here, just 1X. Uh, again, the Galaxy is trying to sharpen the sky. It's really soft. I like the way the iPhone does the balance of the sky. And the ground's also not soft on the iPhone, really sharp. Again, you can just look at the ground sharper on the iPhone, softer in the Galaxy. Yes, the Galaxy brightens up the image, but again, 12 megapixels to 24 really stands out right here. You can see the difference, but this is a different one. This is a 5X zoom and that 5X lens, this is a digital 5X on the Galaxy and the Galaxy is sharper and brighter than the iPhone. Now let's wrap this up with some nighttime, of course, zoom shots. This is 1X here. And we're gonna be zooming into the store across the street. Both images look good, but when we go here to 
our 2x shots here you can see it's more balanced on the galaxy than the iphone uh, also a much sharper image and less blooming from the lights here uh, this shot here we're looking at something that uh, is giving us at 5x uh, pretty much close to the same for both devices and then here at 10x you can see where uh, the Galaxy just feels much sharper than the iPhone, but the iPhone still does a good job. And this is 25X with the Galaxy being sharper, which it doesn't have. It's all digital compared to the iPhone. And of course, here's a 100X zoom just so you guys can actually see that. And we can actually rid the image of it as 185. Some impressive imagery overall. And I think the iPhone has the lead here this time around. I think simply because we are working with a 24 megapixel image and that goes a lot to show, especially when you look at the low light photos, there's more detail and even the daytime photos, it really, really stands out. Now that 5X uh, lens for portrait is beautiful, it does a really good job in just capturing some very stoic moments. I like that and I think that's a really good job from the iPhone. When it comes to the zoom, I still think Galaxy has that edge there. Now, another thing to note is how you actually use these devices to take photos of yourself. The reason I say that is because we have the S Pen for the Galaxy, so it's easier for me to take a lot of the portrait photos that you saw, while on the iPhone, I do have to use a timer. But again, that is near the here or there. Most of the time, you're taking photos with friends. You're capturing moments with the people you know and love, and that's what's most important about using these cameras. There's a lot of cool features here, um, and I like what the iPhone 15 Pro Max is doing with the 5X lens, with the 24 megapixel image. I'm not a big fan of that, you know, one color tone, which can be easily fixed by just hitting auto in the Photos app, whatever photo you're looking at. It literally just balances it all out. So it's something that the processing can be fixed when it comes to that. And I think the Galaxy can catch up. I think that 200 megapixel needs to be bent down to 50 to give us something with more detail because we're lacking a lot of detail in certain places. You see that softness, but the zoom lenses really work well. Um, and that 10X zoom really showcases what you can do. Honestly, this has been a fun battle vid, especially with the new improvements the iPhone 15 Pro Max has brought to the table. That 5K bokeh lens is pretty sweet but what do you think who do you think has the best camera right now i'm giving the edge to the iphone 15 pro max but leave your thoughts down below guys let me know if i am wrong this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment